Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at eToro or at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound. And uh, today the US dollar appreciated significantly. And that really affected most of these uh, currency pairs. As you can see, for the Great Bridge Panel US dollar, we got to 14.00 uh, and then fell quite aggressively. So we're down minus 0 uh, 0.12 at this current stage. And uh, technical indicators, some of them have turned around, but not all of them. MACD is still uh, bearish. The RSI has turned around. It's also indicating bearish momentum. CCI is flat and the stochastic is still bullish at this point. We are just at the 20 exponential moving average here. The 40 and the 50 have offered uh, quite a lot of uh, support in the past, all the way back to November, basically October, uh, not November this uh, last year. So yes, we have seen it also here that we have bounced off the 50 moving average several times. But if the US dollar continues to appreciate, then this could basically uh, drop below the 50 moving average and head towards the 100 moving average down here at the 1367. Rally above this... Uh, this uh, high here of 14.00 that could open the door to the very highest here of the 14.24. So let's look at the um, US dollar and Japanese yen. We also rallied here today and then gave most of those, those gains back. We're still just trading sideways. It's, there basically is nothing happening here. And usually what happens in these uh, scenarios is that you get an inter intersection here with the 20 exponential and then you uh, it basically rallies to the upside. Technical indicators for this currency pair are turning around they are becoming bearish macd has just crossed the signal line the, the stochastic is becoming bearish the cci is flat and the rsi is significantly overbought at this current stage so yes we could see this fall it is just um, um just a waiting game for to see basically where this is going we could had uh, just continue trading sideways head into the 20 exponential and rally to the upside we can also break below the 20 exponential and head towards the 40 but at this current stage this level here has been holding for the last two and a half weeks and uh, yes we just have to see what basically happens here so euro us dollar this basically fell off a cliff today we are down 0 0.38 percent we ran into major resistance at the 150 moving average, and that is roughly at 11.99. Technical indicators, they are very bearish at this point. We are on the edge of being oversold. We ran into, you can see the middle here of the bullish band, and then pull back. At this point, it looks like we are going to test the lower part of the bullish band at roughly 11.81 at this current stage, which is also close to where we bottom over here. So if we manage to rally here, which uh, it looks like it is going to be really difficult as there is uh, several other moving averages just above that will also offer quite a lot of resistance. If the US dollar continues to appreciate, then this will basically drag even lower. So the Aussie dollar, US dollar, this also fell off a cliff today, minus 0 0.79. And uh, the same thing here, if the US dollar continues to appreciate, then this could also drag it significantly lower the same goes for oil prices and so on will also have an effect on this so we have found uh, support at the 20 exponential the 50 and the 40 are just underneath and underneath that we have the 100 which we have tested several times in the past and bounced from that so there is quite a lot of support underneath uh, this uh, currency pair if we manage to rally and take out these previous highs, that could lead us all the way up to 0 0.8. But it kind of depends on what happens to the US dollar. Technical indicators otherwise are either bearish or, or for example, the MACD is flat, the RSI is bearish, CCI is, uh, is flat at this point, and the stochastic is turning around, but it is still bullish at this current stage. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This has rallied, and I've uh, saw that, said that in yesterday's video, that a uh, rally towards the 20, 40, or the 50 was highly uh, expected at this point due to the fact that we were so significantly oversold. Uh, so we rallied 0.71% today, and uh, we gave some of those gains back, but this is probably uh, um, currency pair that's going to continue rallying up towards the middle of the bullish band that is give or take 0 
uh, more percent. So in between the 20 and the 40 exponential is probably where we'll find a resistance and this will head back south. We are in the downtrend, so no reason to basically buy this. Uh, it's basically rallies are, are being sold into. You can see it here and here and so on. So waiting until we find resistance is basically um, the strategy here. Technical leaders, they are all turning around. They are still uh, in bearish uh, territory. For example, the MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around. CCI is turning around. No, RSI is turning around. CCI is turning around. And so is the stochastic. So at this point, it is fairly likely that we'll rally towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and then continue downwards. That will probably take um, several days before we get to that point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at eTro or at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.